Hi, my name is Dave Johansson and I'm here at Blossom Hill Crafts. A couple of weeks ago I did a, a free workshop on uh, making pictures and I'm going to do a quick overview now of the content of that workshop. Um, it's going to be done in three parts. So the first video is just going to be some overall information on pictures. I'm going to do a second video on throwing the form and then a third video on uh, making the handle for the picture. So uh, to start off with, I've got a number of different uh, pictures here. And what I want to do is talk about different elements of a picture so you can kind of begin to understand what you need to think about when you make one. Um, the first thing is that every picture has a foot. And the foot is going to be a little bit different on each picture. For example, on this picture, the foot is kind of rounded and comes down to the bottom. On this picture, the foot is kind of flat and sort of meets with the, uh, the tabletop kind of very directly. Um, this foot, uh, which you see very common on a pitcher, comes out a little bit, has a little dent here on the bottom. See, when you start making your pitcher, you have to think about all these things. In fact, the first part that you've got to think about is the base. This one, the bottom kind of curls under and goes under. So you can see there's, there's three different styles of feet here. Now, I don't claim to be a great pitcher maker. Um, I, you know, but I know a few things about pictures, so I'm going to share them with you. Um, on the, this is going to be posted on our blog, and so if you make a lot of pictures, I'd love you to leave your comments and, and tell me what you think. So the first thing you have to think about is the foot of the pitcher. Now, not only does the pitcher have a foot, but it also has a belly. All right? So you've got to think about where that belly is going to be. Um, this uh, pitcher, as you can see, the one that's flat, the belly is very low and down here. Okay? On this picture, the belly comes up just a little bit, right? Maybe the same height as the belly on that one. This one, again, has sort of a rounded bottom. The belly is fairly low on it. And on this picture, I picked the belly up really quite high, okay? I haven't put a handle on this one yet. I'm going to use this for demonstrating a handle in a little bit. Um, so when you place that belly, here's the thing you want to think about. If the belly gets up too high, What's going to happen when you pour the liquid is the liquid is going to go from the bottom of that pot, it's going to rush to that belly, and it's going to force the, pitch, the pitcher in your hand to go like this. So you don't want to get that belly too high. Um, I don't think, you know, the change isn't too much here. Um, so this one is probably okay. But if that belly gets too high, it's too narrow at the bottom and too high up here, you're really creating a problem for yourself. All right? So every pitcher has a foot. It has a belly, and it has a neck, all right? Um, so you've got to think about what you're going to do with the neck of your pitcher. And again, you can kind of see some different styles that I've got. This one, it begins to channel. And the important part about the neck of the pitcher is that it's channeling the liquid. It's sending the liquid in a direction. If, if your pitcher doesn't have a neck or at least some part of a neck, what's going to happen is all the water is going to come to the top in one big chug. You don't want that. You want something kind of funneling the water. So as you can see, this one, it starts with a low belly, and the neck really kind of comes up. Not only that, it kind of scoops this way. If you look at the shape, it scoops. Okay? This one is a little bit different. The neck is a lot higher. And notice the difference in the shape. This one scoops in, and this one kind of, kind of comes out more and then scoops in. You see the difference in the shape? That's something you really have to start paying attention to if you look at the picture. Of a, uh, if you look at a picture of a, of a pitcher <laughs> and you're trying to make it, you've got to really just pay attention to those shapes. Um, again, here, this one, maybe a little bit higher. The belly comes up and then it comes in. Okay? So you really, every pitcher has got that neck or that throat, and you need to pay attention to where it is. Um, these two pitchers look very different, but if you think about what's happening with the throat, it's very similar. Okay, So every pitcher is going to have uh, the foot, the belly, and the throat. And now it's also going to have the lip. And um, I'm not going to talk too much about the lip right now. I'm going to talk a, a little bit more about what I'm, when I'm throwing. But when you make a lip, you can tell if a lip is well made because the pot remains flat. You see how the top of these are just basically, they're pretty flat. Okay, um, when, you, when you make the lip wrong on a pitcher, um, the, it, it's, it starts to go like this, okay? And um, even if, you'll see on some pictures where this top is cut out, 
they, they will be cut out, it starts flat, okay? And sometimes they'll even add a little bit on up here. They'll cut this out and add a little bit on up here. This is a very basic picture making um, video, so I, I didn't make anything like that, but you certainly could cut this top out and put a lip that went up here. And then the next part is the handle. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about handles. Um, you can see a couple of different ways that they can be attached here. One is straight in and one kind of is a little bit more down like that. Um, so uh, that's essentially what I, oh, when, the thing I do want to say about a handle right now is that um, the handle is a lever, okay? And if your handle gets too far out here, you don't have any control of what's going on. And again, if your hand is way out here and that water comes to the top, the whole picture is going to go like this and you don't have any control. Um, and so, uh, actually, on this one, maybe the handle is a little bit close in. Um, actually, that one's not bad. This one, I, I made this handle, but, it, but it's a little bit too close in, maybe a little bit too tight, right? Um, this is pretty good, okay? So sometimes, you know, you're going to see these big looping handles that come down, and it might look really good with the form, but it doesn't function very well. So oftentimes with a handle, that's the decision you have to make, form or function, okay? If you can find um, a form that really functions well for you, then you're doing great with handles, okay? Well, thank you very much. I'm Dave Johansson with Blossom Hill Crafts. Have a great day.